Hiya, it's Alan and Anna from Red Wars War Gaming. We're here with another uh, battle report. Uh, we're just back from uh, Warhammer World, World playing um, a Warcry uh, mini tournament, which was quite cool. Yeah, Call of the Ever Chosen, I think it was. Called. Call of the Ever Chosen, yeah, and they're quite a lot of chaos. Warbounds, weren't they? I'm quite yeah, impressed. A surprising amount, really, to be honest. Um, I thought everyone had to come in with like proper sort of like beardy lists of. I expected to see a lot of Stormcast, a lot of Gits. Yeah, yeah. Stuff which like seemed to be towards like top tier warbands, but I think to be honest everyone just wanted to have fun. It was a really relaxed atmosphere and everybody just wanted to laugh, really. Um, um if, if you want another good breakdown of it, I think um Black, Black Andy Bird is from Blackjack Legacy, he did a really good sort of hour talk through of his yeah, games yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So um I'll leave a link that down in the description for you want to know more about the tournament and see how that went from his point of view. Yeah, yeah, um, top lad as well. Yeah, we had a we had a couple of brews with him. We we're gonna have beer, but obviously it had been a long drive for Andy, and we'd stopped over the night before. So, but top lad, you need to give him a watch as well if you don't already. Yeah, it's some good games though. So who did you play? Right, I played uh, my first game. I played Alistair with his IDNF Geekin. Uh, we managed to get a draw out of that, and it was a really good game. Top lad, top lad. Second game was, was that first game. Was yeah. that the one with the like minus movement? Because there was one. I can't remember. There was one where the twist was like get minus one to me. No, that wasn't the first game. The, the first game there was no twist. Right. Yeah. First game there was no twist, and the Ardeneth uh, just pretty much. Stop Big Dave doing his stuff. Big Dave didn't kill anything. In fact, he didn't hit anything in that first game. So, pretty crappy Big Dave. Uh, second game I played. If now, if you if you watch this, I do apologise. I'm pretty sure you were called George, but I'm not 100. percent And you use Untamed Beast, and we had a flipping amazing game. Um, Do you know what? I don't know what I, what I did with that one. I don't know whether I drew that one, and I might not have, I might have lost the first one. I don't know. I've slept since then. Anyway, if if any of you know, <laughs> I'm a third game after lunch. Yeah, I've, like I say, I'm old. Third game after lunch, I played. Um, what does that say? Is it Dan? Danny. Dan from down uh, down there uh, in in Midlands. Pro, really, really good good lad. Really nice to play. We had a belting game. He was playing his ghosts. And uh, they just ran away, which is what. Well, and he kept apologising. You didn't need to apologise, mate. It was uh, that's that's how you you know you win the game, don't you? Well, we got a draw, so that's not how you win the game. That's how you get. And in my last game, I played some flipping cheating. No, I didn't. It was Anna. Played Anna, and uh, Anna managed to pull a victory out of it. But it was only two wounds in it, weren't it? Really? If I'd have scored two more wounds, it'd have been a win for me. But yeah, we, good game. Last game we sort of had to destroy half, more of, the the half, yeah, half yeah. of more of the other warband. And it started out really well. I smashed about three of yours. Oh, smashed me three. What? Yeah, in one round, three then, of my men like, died. Your Dominar and your Perfector went down, didn't Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then was it one of me legionary, one of legionaries. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good game, though. So then yeah, I thought, yeah. oh, this is going to be easy. And then I, Warwick. Warwick. He rolled Warwick. Came in, smashed Oh, he smashed two, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So he smashed two, he was good for Warwick. So then all of a sudden I had like Big Dave bearing down on me, but I managed to just, I think again with throwing style, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, and I was playing um, ball last wrong all weekend, which might have helped us in some of the games, but... Go for who did you play? Um, so I took Cypheloids, so I was the only Cypheloids player. Um, well, you got best Cypheloid, didn't you? Yeah, well, yeah, I did, but... Um, I finished 10th overall, I first game I played um, Pete Halliday, I think, Pete, he was playing Splintered Fang, um, and I played Splintered Fang once before against you, Yes. or I've maybe played twice before, we, we do have back reps for, it, for them, I us see how they went, but um, I was winning that one, it was captured the objective as winning until like the last turn when he managed to just oh, his snakes came in, didn't he? get his snakes in, I, I I remember playing against snakes that couldn't pick up an objective. That's right. So I thought they couldn't contest, so I sort of left them alone and then they didn't have a good contest. So yeah, so that was a draw. No, they can't pick up treasure. They can contest objectives, but they can't pick up treasure. 
didn't realise that, so I lost that one. Yeah. Second game I played um, against a young lad called Luca. Um, he was over from Australia, I think. So I that's think that's I, some real travel, is that, I isn't it? That's like, keen. So he come over and he painted. He bought oh, he bought and painted the money, was on there. Well done. Few, um, yeah. Extra bits of paint and painted up his face. So yeah, I was well impressed with that. And we put the comet for that one. So it would have been closer, I think, but the comet pretty much came in exactly where he wanted it to, and exactly the worst place for me. So because it ended turn three, I ended up and just sprint stuff across, and he had more models or anything. He had two more models on the table, so I didn't have enough activations to, to kill him. And then third game, probably my favourite, I think, was. Um, against Tom, um, he had Iron Jaws, I think there were two Iron Jaws people and I think it was an Iron Jaws player who won in the end, but I played Tom, and um, it was again, destroy your opponent's hammer, so I think I had about 20 wings worth in my hammer, we had, I had two mind angry glaives, and he had I think, two brutes, so close on 40 50, wounds, 50 wounds, 50 like wounds I think, like my, um, my thrall master was the highest wound count model I had with like 20 wounds and his lowest was 25. So um, Sounds about right for Ox. So or Ox, whatever they call so it. Ox. He, he absolutely smashed my models. I think he'd killed 925 points with my models. I'd managed to kill one of his hammer and get the other one down to one wound. And then in the last activation he activated, killed my leader because he needed to get a point for his hidden objective. So we got that. So I had one mind bound on the table, my last member of the hammer. And he reminded me that I could use You could use all the abilities. All the abilities, so I managed to use a double no I used a triple to um, do acrobatic leap. Where you can fly. So that I could fly over this piece of terrain and I got within six inches and then he used my other double to do another throwing star. So that's good. And I managed to kill his like last one with health so. So really, I got absolutely smashed, but I managed to get the win. So. Cool. So two wins, and then the, the last one was against you, mm. which was like really giving you. So that was um, two wins, one draw, one loss for me. So I was really happy with that. Yeah. I got uh, two draws, one minor loss, and one major <laughs> loss. <laughs> but on a plus note, I did get second in the uh, painting. The best painting, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I got four marks for my uh, best sportsman, which is quite good. Yeah, I, I think this is just like a minor little grumble for me. I think they did it the wrong way around because the guy who won, I didn't get to play him, so I didn't really get to see you know, how he was or anything. It seemed like a decent bloke from what I know, but he won the competition, the best painted, and most votes for sportsmanship. Now he won the sportsmanship because he got more points in the tournament, but I think that. If you've already won the tournament, they should have given it to someone else. Yeah, there was there was three of us with four points off. Yeah, so it should it should it should, it should have, have been the next chap down. Yeah, or I, I don't know. And then I think it was a judges call. I think that yourself and him got the oh, same for painting. marks for painting. Yeah, yeah. And the judges awarded that to him as well. Where again, if he's already won one thing, so, ah, come I, second. Yeah, but you know, yeah. I'm not like. Actually, I, I, I went down for laugh and meet everybody. I just think you're just better sharing out the... Yeah, yeah, the, the spoils, but, I mean, sharing out the spoils. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've come back with a bit of glass, which will good. The Iron Golems were... Uh, my most rubbish player of the entire weekend was Big Dave, was crap. He managed to kill a ghost for his entire for the entire day. He came back? Who didn't come back? No, oh, no, right. it was the <whistles> Spiritos. Oh, oh, yeah, that's good. My yeah, yeah, kill yeah. Nice. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I played when I played against Dan. We uh, we had to kill the hammer, and he was undead. The undead night on people, and they kept coming back. So I killed them, and they come back. Kill them, come back. I couldn't kill both of them in the same round, which is really difficult. But it was a cracking game, really good game. Yeah. So today, 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 obviously with my super hat on, my super Christmas hat. It's um, last game before Christmas, yes. um, and it's going to be another monster mashup. With the Chimera versus my Cyphaloid, so I'm just putting the same list who I took down to uh, the shop. So. 
I'm just, just giving another try because yeah. last time I played the Terror Ghost, so it's Al's turn to be the monster this time. Yeah, and we're using the Chimera. So, uh, hope you enjoy the battle, and we'll see you at the end. Right, this is how this one's played. Basically, victory conditions are uh, we have to kill each other. That's it. Right, so yeah. you have to kill all of me. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to try and kill them. Right. Do not draw terrain cards, deployment cards, or twist cards. Instead, use the following rules. Draw three terrain cards, which are there. Place them face down. The players then roll off. If the adversary, which is me, I'm going to use black dice for this. So, uh, uh, if the adversary wins a roll off, no cards are revealed. If the player player's tie, one card is chosen by the challenger, which is you. Yeah? If the adversary uh, player loses a roll off, all the cards are revealed. The challenger then picks one of the three terrain cards to be in play. Cool. So there's a chance you actually don't know what the card's going to be, don't you? Right, so... Alan is black. And five. And is red. Right, so I win. I'm the adversary. Um, no cards are revealed. So you have to choose a card. Okay. Yeah, and we do exactly the same for well, I, I, deployment. It it's, it's only like normal, isn't it? I'll go middle. Middle. Are you excited? That's a setup. Quite a good setup. Are we having that as north? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You know. um, right, same again. You ready for this one? So, what am I rolling for now? You've got to try and beat me. Yeah, but for what What am I revealing? Um, set up. Right, so you've won. So, basically, um, all the cards are revealed. Escalation. Decapitate. Hold out. Yeah, and basically, you draw a card. You pick one of them. But do I get to pick which colour I am? Um, do, 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 do. Deployment. The challenger sets up all the battle group first. So you're the challenger. The adversary then picks one of their deployment zones and sets up as normal. Say that again. You you uh, you set up all uh, your battle groups first, and then I pick one of my deployment zones and set up. Right. Okay. So it might be better if any of them have got on coming on all than all round two, are they? I think it's going to have to be that one. You're Decap going for that one? Decapitate now, I'd have to be red, I think. Well, no, it doesn't matter. Because at least I get two on in the first round. Which is going to even the odds a bit more in my A bit more, yeah, yeah. Whereas otherwise, if I'm waiting until turn three. Yeah, I think the monster's going to eat your piecemeal then, isn't it? So, yeah, I'll pick decapitate. Piecemeal's there. So the victory is to kill each other. You've chosen your. How we're going to. Uh, Set everything up. So, here we go. Dice for it. Oh, good start. I'm going to pick as you write Lightning Storm. Sure. I don't like me, but sure. I'll read it out. So the stifling air is punctuated with dazzling flashes as bolts of lightning strike the air. This is surely a war of the gods and your patronage will see your enemies smoke from above. All fighters can use this following ability. It's a quad. Lightning strike. Pick an enemy fighter on the battlefield and roll a number of dice equal to the value of this ability. For each roll of a 4 or a 5, allocate 1 damage to point to that fighter. For each roll of a 6, allocate 3 damage to that fighter. Go so on, if we got a quad 6... I doubt I will be. Right, you know how the monsters work, don't you? Monsters don't get two activations. You only get one. But they get three yeah, single yeah. activations, yeah? yeah. Right. So um, you're there. I remember destroying them. Yeah, Actually, let's no, face it, no. you got about a thousand points worth of bloody undead on as well, didn't you, at the same time? Yeah. 
I want that. But the camera who doesn't get it. It's oh, camera. and you could have a thousand and eighty points in this. Alright. Do you want another model? No. No, you're gonna risk it, right. Yeah, so I've been Sight Lords in my shield, I've got a Thrallmaster and two mirror blades with dueling swords. In my dagger I have two mirror blades with glaives. And in my hammer I have a luminate and two mind bound. That comes to 1000 points exactly. Oh, that sounds like a noise, doesn't it? Right, shall we uh, dash your initiative? Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Black dice for the Chimera. Two triples. <laughs> Two triples. Flipping heck. That doesn't feel rough for me, right? I'm going to sleep at you one I've also got my wild dice. You can use that in a quad with them. A double six, mm. a four singles, right? So I've my, I have absolutely no chance of her. Uh, I'm gonna spend my wild dice and kill five. Kill, cool. I'm gonna spend. I, do you know what? I've got triples on that. Triples aren't bad for me. No, I'm going to spend my wild dice, I'm going to turn one of my triples into a quad. <laughs> Flipping egg, the monsters are scary. Right, one of them, it can attack a piece of terrain, right, and smash it. Right, and people on it fall off and take damage. Yeah, and then the terrain's gone. The same thing. It is a quad, it is a quad, and it's called Demolishing Rampage. So, yeah, enough quads, I could just like. Completely wipe out the battlefield. Right, you've got initiative. So the story is for this one that the Cypher Lords, the leader who's uh, in chorus of the incorrigible few, that's the warband, they, he's had a premonition that there's a huge beast who's made its. Excuse me. Go on, continue. Who's made its um, lair in these ruins here? He's basically trying to take it over, he wants to turn it into a thrall so that he can use it as a, um, a mount um, and try and sort of do a, a mirror copy almost of Archaeon's thing so he's going to try and subdue this monster to add it to his warband Right, I'm going to activate Colin the Chimera. He's not being called Colin. He's not being called Colin. I just wanted to smash terrain to bits, wasn't it? That's what I'm going to do. You're going to fly over there. Yeah. He's spending his quad. Yeah. And he's going to smash this terrain piece. So basically what I do is, um, these two fall off and fall there. Do you want to roll for impact damage from both? Alright. So I've got rune and hex and the dagger, so I'll roll for rune first. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, that's one point damage. Alright, and then for hex? One point damage. And, and then...
That terrain's gone. That terrain's gone. Hulk smash! Right, that's my first activation. It's not. I don't know. Well, yeah, but it it stops you like hiding and stuff, yeah. and stuff like people like your Corvus Cabal who jump off things. Yeah. It's limiting the. Granted, it cost me a quad. I guess so. Hex is going to move up outside one. Mm -hmm. And he's going to attack you. Cool. I've only got toughness four. And strength four. Four attacks. Cool. To range two. The voice. <sighs> nice. How many damage is that? Nice. Um, that is nine damage. Altogether nine? Yeah. Cool. It's not bad that. It's not bad at all. It's a shame he's gonna to have to die now. Right. Bye. Um So I'm gonna attack. I get six attacks. He's got a range of two. Uh, oh, got, shit. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> he's got strength six. Alright, so got threes. Threes. He's dead, isn't he? He's done. <laughs> um, threes. Let me just calculate this, please, before you start taking your dead off. He's done. Um, 25 wounds. Oh, <laughs> Boom. So, Hex runs in, slashes once. Yeah, slashes once and then dies to death. Holy crap. That's not a good start. And then he's going to use his triple called a, um, a, a, a Lionel Raw, Ly Lionel, I don't know. The, until the end of the battle round, subtract one from the attacks of characteristics of attack actions made by enemy fighters while they are within six inch of this fighter. Oh, right, so that's going to be anyone who comes in? Yeah. That was pretty scary, that wasn't it? He's in a consolation, you're nearly down to the next level, if you will. Yeah, that first hit for me was a good hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, thinking strategically, yeah. Yeah. What you'd be better doing is running away. But not if you're trying to kill it. <laughs> so every time, well, it's not every time, because I, obviously I, I've only got three activations. Yeah, so so it's not every time I activate. No, but the thing is, now I can out activate you back. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I, I yeah. can put a weight on one of them. Yeah. And then you have to go. Mm, you so you're then going to have to move. Yeah. Well, I don't your... have to, do I? Well, no, but you're going to at least use your third activation up. Mm. So he's going to wait. Cool. There he is. He's going to wait. Because at least you need to use a movement now. Mm. If you're we running, you're just going to smash me again. But on the other side of that, I'm going to force you to move. Does have two rain ground? Yeah, 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 that's fine. Isn't it? That's his third activation. But yeah, you can definitely out activate me. Say that last game with the undead, I, I couldn't activate you. Right, well, you may as well hit you back twice. Him? Mm hmm. Go hit you twice. And. No, he's just going to hit twice. So, same as before, four attacks. Fours? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Three attacks. <laughs> ah. 
Oh no. Yeah. That's Gammy, you bitch. <laughs> Second one. Just one, just another two damage. Two, no, two damage is enough. To knock him down to the next level. Slowed him down a little bit, and his hits aren't quite as drastic. No, it's not so let's go. Just a second activation to run in. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If... yeah. He's then going to spend a double five to do throwing his dice. Yeah. So, um, roll two dice for each roll of a four or five. Allocate. One damage for each roll of six, I'll get five because it was a five. Mm -hmm. It's one damage. <laughs> Could have been worse. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'll check. Well, we've got one more charge of air, haven't we? Okay, I'll come in. Okay, he's going to do the same. Mm -hmm. Throwing size again. So it would be uh, six on a crit, isn't it? Yeah, six on a crit. No, just one, <laughs> one more damage. All right, is that it? End of turn. Yeah, it's end of turn. Cool. Right. right. So my hammer, come on. Oh, that's the hex and he's just been massacred. Yeah, 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 I, I turned yeah, one did. into a quad. Oh, yeah, you did, did, did. Yeah. I've got two doubles. Two singles. A double one. And four singles. So I'm going to spend my wild bets again to make a double six. Mm hmm. So I'm going three singles. Yeah, I'm going to turn my wild dice into. I'm going to make that a triple. Cool. So obviously you've got initiative again. What's that? It's gone, yeah, 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 beginning to turn, it's gone. So I'm going to spend my double one. Yeah. Throw some throwing stars. <laughs> Just to give. Um, so we've got five attacks now. Yeah. Strength. Strength four. Toughness four. The boys. Slightly better. Another yeah. nine points of damage. Another nine. That's took him down to the next level. And then. Second attack. Oh! Bloody hell. That's 16. Yeah. Flipping heck. So I need to work this out, don't I? So what a round. 20. Hell, is he nearly dead? 30. 35. Really? 38 points of damage. <gasps> Flipping heck. He nearly killed him. Good roll, that. What a legend! He's almost a Chimera killer! Right, so I've still got six attacks. Um, you can't be doing much damage now. I think. I can't believe that. 16 and 9. Yeah. No. Um, I'll spend the triple one. Right, so he's going to attack him first. Um, threes. I've got enough dash, eh? I've got enough dash, have I? Threes. That is... Um, 
two, four, six, eight. Twelve wounds. No, he's going to use his triple to do the Leonardo roll again. So it's, you've got minus to your dice. My god, this is going to be a quick game, is this, isn't it? I thought Monster Boy, you just like eat everybody. He's running. Yeah. I think, obviously, me having the night hop, I'm going to take this one out. Oh, yeah, oh, massively. Right. Massively. Right, so. Of course, that is the two fucking good hits from these boys there. Oh, yeah. Like, they're weak as shit, them two, but they hit really hard. So I'm going to use my double to do a tail whip, and oh no, that's quite a lot, is that for a double? Right. He flies here where? Three inches, right, he's, yeah he's going to use his tail whip, um, roll a dice, it might be a bit of a waste, on a four or five it's one point of damage, on a six it's three points. Oh, nothing. Oh, the Chimeras. Oh, it's because I'm rolling green dice. And that was his second activation, wasn't it? Yep. That's the problem. You can just get out and activate it because I'm just going to go... And run again. again. Mm -hmm. They're both are they both within two inch now? Yeah. They're both within two inch. So my last activation. It's got a thing so it's minus one, I just like moving that terrain's just allowed me. Yeah, yeah. But I thought it did it did make it easy for me because I knew I'm not hiding in the terrain. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's just that's all my observations. Do you know they're quite good at Sapphos, they're not they really, for strength 4. Eh? We've only got toughness 3 on most of them. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> um, that is going to be... 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. Flipping egg. Throwmaster's going to run in. Yeah. That's in Karras. And then he's going to onslaught. No, he's not. I think Thromas is going to subdue it at this rate. No, he's just going to go normal. Um, so Thromas has now got four attacks as well, strength four. <sighs> nope. Um, six subdued. Points, six points of damage. Subdued. Is it? Yeah. How easy, wasn't it? Well done. I think you got your ass kicked there. Fucking right? heck. That didn't help with you doing, what, oh, yeah. 20 odd points of damage? You won. 20, yeah. Can't hear it. He let you down there, didn't he? He did let me down, yeah, yeah. The zombie dragon had the thing of having 200 points of undead oh, coming yeah. on, which made it even better than what it actually were. Miles better. Just yeah, because what can't hear is a bit... Mm. You got out-actioned. Yeah. What, what, cause what, cause well, the other one I couldn't, could I? The other one I couldn't, the last game we had with a monster, I couldn't yeah, get out-actioned. No, because I had monsters to move, so if you yeah, yeah. were waiting stuff, I just I could do it with my... Yeah, yeah. Goals. Yeah. Oh, well done. I got that. Well... well. I don't think that was the most exciting fight, that. No. It's had to be a lot. Bloody yeah. Well, what do you lose? Two models? Two models. <laughs> I, I lost 240 points worth. He's only 340 himself, though. Oh, right, okay. There's got to be some different. 
Yeah, he's only 340. So, like I say, it's the out activating one is, is, the, is the one for it, isn't it? Yeah. Because it was like, well, whilst you've got yours, I'll run stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't want to run in and give you chances to hit me because you annihilated him in one turn. Oh, yeah. So yeah, one, yeah, one it. The problem is, though, it's, it's one it. You're only killing one model, aren't you? Mm. Unless you've got, you know, you roll a decent. A, a decent um, double or triple or whatever, but if not, you're just doing one at a time. So if you charged everybody in at once, unless he had some amazing thing. Yeah, Terry Gast has a scream, doesn't have anything like he? Has, yeah, he has the um, fiery breath. All right. Um, it's a quad, and the best you'll ever do is six points of damage with it, because obviously that's how we can roll on dice. Right. But it's for everybody within yeah. four inch of him. But he's doing that but so essentially to kill him because there's no other things on the board all you do is just steam him and I guess as well you roll shit with Big Dave when we play didn't we yes so you... yeah Big Dave would have knocked and well I were only one off knocking him down to the next level anyway yeah. weren't I yeah but I knocked with them smashed you through them rolls you had them were flipping incredible alright cool well done thanks for watching um, terrible game for Chimera terrible game it's Dice just, well, they weren't dice, it's my dice tactics, and Anna's a lucky bugger. Do you know what? I think it was a bit of a disappointment. Like, it wasn't that disappointing, but a bit of an anti climax because after how close the Terry Geist one was, and I, I, like, I can't believe that like, it gets to summon all those ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Rest, and Kami doesn't get anything. Kami doesn't get anything. Because oh, yeah. it just got out activated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Out activated. Um, was it, I think even. even I'm best you're going to kill, what, three things a turn? Yeah. Unless you've got, like, your screen or whatever. Unless you've got your screen, but even then you can only do six wounds at maximum. Yeah. From the screen. So... It was, it was a good game. A short game. I do apologise for the length of the game, but uh, still a good game. And it gets to see, you get to see how Chimera's and that do. Uh, if we've done anything wrong, please tell us. Hal, I know you're the man. You pick up on, uh, you pick on how crap we are. And we do appreciate that, because... Sometimes we completely forget about things, but I'll remind us, which is which is good. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thanks everyone for watching the channel. We've had some, you know, obviously launched the channel this year. Yeah. Quite. A it's a new new thing for us, isn't it? Yeah. We've had some a lot of subscribers, but I think like we said last video, we've got a lot of plans going into next year. Yes. We we're hoping today to get Goth Trek um, against some monsters, but. And why do turn up? Yeah. So. So we do apologise. Hopefully that will be the next game. Yeah, so... If we get White Dwarf. That's one of the future fans. Yes. Um, yeah, we're going to do a Gothrex versus the Monsters, and we're also going to do a Gothrex versus a Warband. See how long the Warband can yeah, last. Yeah, I think, yeah, Splinted Fang. I think Splinted Fang, if Fang yeah. is going to be the so one who goes So 15 million points, Splinted Fang against Gothrex. Yes. That's the plan. Yes. So, if you want to see that, um, make sure you subscribe, just so you can get the notification for that. Um, yeah, and press the bell thing, don't you? Just see when anything new comes up. Yeah, but I never do that. I never do that. I don't well, know what it annoying, means. Isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I've never done that. No. Yeah. I mean, As you could tell, te technology is just not me. You can do it if you want, but I yeah. don't yeah. bother with any other channels. So please like, subscribe. Um, we've got one more game before New Year. And then, like I say, next year is going to be quite exciting for us. We're going to have some quite a few guest players on next year. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, some of the guys we've met down at, um, down at the uh, War Cry event said they, they might come up and, and show the faces or come down and show the faces which which would be great and some of them you, you may know but we're not you know no spoilers around it yeah no spoilers and tom should be back for the next one tom should be back yeah he's he's uh back from sea yeah sailing in sailing in yeah but only for a few days but we're going to get some games so hopefully next week's got tom in as well yes i'm sick of me now yeah one of us uh, yeah well, yeah i should imagine you'll play this time because i've been in every one of them and people are fed up with me my, my weird tactics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, cheers, have a good Christmas. Yeah, have Thanks a good Christmas, and like I say, one more before New Year. Yeah. So, thanks for watching.